So we had a closer look at the async data, but thus far we always assumed that our actions we take there would be successful. Now what if it fails? Let's go back to the list of posts in the posts folder here in the index.view file there. Now let's say our async action, which of course is just dummy code here, but let's say it were a real action and it failed. All we had to do is in a callback, we don't pass null as the first argument, but our error. Now the error could be a new error object we create. Error is a built-in JavaScript constructor. Now, if we do that and we save this, if I reload the, if I go back to the simple blog page or I reload it, you simply see I get the error layout we created because Nuxt will automatically redirect us to the error page if an error occurs. So if the first argument in callback is not null. If you were using a promise-based approach, so where in async data you returned a new promise that wrapped your async code, then what you could simply do is inside the catch block you might add to your promise. And of course your promise does probably more than nothing. Inside there where you get the error from the HTTP request you're making or whatever it is, you could execute context error like this. There is an error function on that context object and here you could pass your new error or whatever error you got back from the server maybe. And by doing it like this, it would also throw. Now, here I can't really show this because we're not doing anything in the promise, but converting this to a promise is something I'll do in the next lecture before we then also have a look at how Vuex adds to all of that.